slides, we want to see what the characteristics of the force as a vector is between two charges that are both negative. So we know from before, what, what do like charges do? They repel. So what do you think the direction of the force on two due to one would be if both charges are negative? Force would be repulsive, so it would be pushing this charge away from the other charge. So it would be pointing in this direction. And we're going to use the same notation we used before. When you write F12, it means the force on two due to one. So the second index is the charge that you're getting the force on, and the first index is the charge you're getting the force due to. So I'm saying we can use exactly the same formula as we did for the two positive charges. If you put the charges with their sign, then this formula will be correct no matter what the sign of the charge is. So if you put Q1 as negative, we can always rewrite Q1 as minus the magnitude of Q1 because the magnitude of Q1 is positive. If you multiply that by a negative number, you get a negative number. This way of writing, it just illustrates that it is a negative quantity. The same thing we can do for Q2. Now we can plug the value of Q1 and Q2 that we wrote here in just a slightly different way into the equation here because we put the charge with its sign in this equation. So here we put minus magnitude of Q1 and we have minus magnitude of Q2. And let's look at this equation a bit more detail in the coming slide. When you multiply minus and minus, it gives you plus. So the minus sign goes away. So everything now inside this bracket is exactly the same it was when you had two positive charges. Ke is positive, magnitude of Q1 is positive, magnitude of Q2 is positive, R squared is positive, and the minus and minus canceled and gave you positive. So that means that the direction of the force on two due to one will be a positive number, it's getting obtained from a positive number multiplied by this unit vector. That means it's going to be in the direction of this unit vector. And the unit vector points from charge one to charge two. So that means the force points from charge one to charge two. It points away from charge one. So that means even, even if you have the two charges as negative, this formula that we used in the beginning where we put the charges with their signs, it gives you the correct magnitude and direction. 